Hello guys! So recently I've posted a video about the terms that were popularized during the COVID-19. That video inspired me to do this video and say a big thanks to all the nurses and doctors that were taking care of the patients during the COVID-19. So today I will be discussing registered nurses in Canada, their national occupation code, what are the requirements, what is the useful vocabulary that you can put on your uh, resume and also you can use during the interview with a potential employer. Okay, so uh, as I said, National Occupation Code for Registered Nurses in Canada is 3012. It belongs to skill category A. Under this uh, uh, occupation, you have many job titles, but today I will only focus on registered nurses. So I will tell you the requirements for registered nurses, and that is a completion of a university, college, or other approved nursing program. Here you have to know if you're an international applicant, you need to do credential evaluations. I did a separate video on that, where I show on my phone how to do that and how to apply through WES. And please, you can find it on my YouTube channel, English Conversations underscore 26. Another requirement is that you have to be registered with a regulatory body uh, in all provinces and territories. So what does that mean? That means that you have to pass an exam that is called NCLEX. This exam is done in three countries, the United States, Canada and Australia. So all the nurses who want to be uh, registered nurses, they have to pass in all these three countries the same exam in order to become one. So the exam cost in Canada uh, is 360 Canadian dollars. Example of Ontario province, when you do this uh, test and you pass, if you pass, you still have to show them evidence in fluent, uh, that you're fluent in written and spoken English. Probably you have to pass IELTS and show your results. Also, you have to have a clear criminal record so they will do the back, they will ask for the background check and uh, you have to show eligibility so meaning you have to show your immigration status uh, vocabulary that is uh, used for uh, registered nurses usually you will see some of these words that are keywords inpatient outpatient icu you can put any department icu means intensive care unit but you can put any department you work within the hospital Catheter care, oxygen supply, glucose testing. These are some of the words that are repeating and explaining what registered nurse uh, does. Skills. I would emphasize uh, following skills. Problem solving, ad adaptability, collaboration, strong work ethic, time management, critical thinking, handling pressure. If I was a nurse and I'm having an interview with a potential employer, I would suggest uh, handling pressure, just emphasize that you are good at handling the pressure and also that you are adaptable, so you can adapt to any situation and flexible also, adaptable and flexible goes uh, together, they go together. Verbs that you can use in your CV are following, managed and treated patients. So always use the concrete example, you know, um, your employer knows what are your job duties, but make sure that you are like, for example, if you uh, interviewed, uh, I don't know, nurses, tell how many nurses you interviewed during the course of years, right? So this, uh, this particular job duty interviewing nurses is for the managerial position, which I have to highlight, they put it is also on the government site, that registered nurses and registered practitioner, uh, sorry, not practitioner, physiatric nurses, which is RPN, they can be promoted to supervisors and managers. Also, I would like to uh, mention the, uh, the verbs that you uh, can use, uh, besides the one I already mentioned, supervised, inserted, for example, you can insert it catheters, IVs, etc. 
wound dressing and care, you are capable of wound dressing and care, monitoring assisted. So these are the crucial verbs or keywords that you should put in your resume. Also, when you speak to an employer, I realized that you should mention the words from job description. So use their language. Remember that. Okay, so note, uh, this is really important for the registered nurse's resume. You have to put where you are registered as a nurse. For example, this is very um, useful for the international applicants. So for example, if you are uh, registered in your home country and you are registered in some province in Canada, put both. So they know that you are registered in both countries. I think this is a plus, you know, because every country has its own requirements. Uh, where you studied and your GPA, uh, when you do credential evaluations with us, you will get your GPA in the Canadian system. Uh, medical work, where you did medical work, but be specific about the department. This is what I mentioned earlier. So, if you worked in eye intensive care unit, clinic work, pediatrics, oncology, etc., so make sure you mention the department you worked and what you did in that department by using the verbs and skills. You can show through great example, you know, what skills you used. This is what you should put also in your cover letter. So I hope, uh, I hope I helped you a little bit and you know, you found out a little bit about uh, registered nurses. Uh, in Canada and how you can pass the interview and what vocabulary to use. Bye!